Yo, what's up guys, my name's the number one Pred, and today what I'm bringing you guys is an insane triple chem strike with the M27 LMG. Not only, this was a kind of clutch chem strike as well to be honest, I got this chem strike, uh, the third one of the three, at 198 points. And timing was absolutely critical in this game. Um, if I hadn't run back towards A flag to get the last two kills for the chem strike or one kill I don't know how many it was then I would not have got the gameplay so I was super super lucky and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the gameplay if you did please please drop a like rating down below that's always appreciated if you would drop a like um, I'm going to try and aim this video for 50 likes uh, for today that would be a really awesome like milestone to hit I know it's a really high one but you guys are really sick with the support so hopefully you guys will help me and assist me in an attempt to reach that like goal I guess so once again if you did enjoy please drop a like rating and comment down your thoughts as well I always love reading your comments even though I may not respond to all of them I do in fact love reading them to say the least so I'm just going to quickly talk about the gameplay before I get into anything else just a few facts I was playing in a five man party um, this was a six man attempt supported lobby but uh, our sixth person ended up leaving before the game even started. He just said, I oh, don't want to play anymore and just left. Or he got kicked. I don't know what one was what. But either way, he did say he didn't want to play. He didn't want to play anymore. So he didn't. And then he ended up either leaving or getting kicked. And uh, there we go. We ended up with a five man. We tried holding spawns in a five man for the person who was running spawns. I'm not entirely sure who that was. And uh, it didn't really work out. We had a random pushing spawns and calling in choppers and whatnot, which did, you know, hinder the gameplay support gameplays in that sense. So no one ended up getting supported gameplay in the end. So this sort of was supported, I guess, my gameplay anyways. Um, it was sort of, I guess, because I did pick up a, a ballistic vest for every streak. Um, but uh, I wasn't holding spawns or anything. Well, I was holding spawns, I wasn't running spawns, should I say. I was holding courtyard, and you can see I was running around the map. I wasn't literally sitting in the same spot the whole game. And uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy the gameplay anyways. It's kind of unique because you don't really see a triple with the LMG. Unless it's like proper proper raw spawn trapping on Blitz, which is something I don't post, obviously. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoy. And hopefully you enjoy the commentary topic which I have in hand for you guys today. And it's something I've sort of planned or... Just given a little bit of thought, really. Um, I did think about it before I did it. Uh, it's nothing majorly. It's something to do with COD, obviously, but it's not to do with the gameplay, which is probably a bit of a relief for you guys. That was terrible spawn in there. If you guys saw them spawn right in front of me. But today's commentary topic will be my top 10 favourite Call of Duty maps of all time. From Call of Duty 5 to Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not including COD 4 because I never played that. But um, I'm going to start from COD 5 because that was my first COD ever. So let's, let's, without further ado, let's go. So number 10. I'm going to be going from number 10 to number 1. 10 being the least favourite to the best in my opinion. And guys, don't get your knickers in a twist. I don't even know why I said that phrase. That sounded a bit... Woo. <laughs> Don't get your thongs up your thighs. I don't know what I'm coming up with these puns or whatever, but don't get mad at me if your opinions are different to mine. Everyone has their own opinion. If if you guys don't agree with me, if you know what I mean. These are basically made uh, based on nostalgia, if anything. Things I had the most fun on. And then a lot of them are dated from the old Call of Duties anyway, so without further ado, once again, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start with the most recent at number 10. Number 10 being Sovereign. Sovereign, however you pronounce it. I think it's Sovereign, I don't really care. But the reason why I put that in my top 10 is because it's a really easy map, in a sense, to get gameplays on. It's a really easy map to hold spawns when you're playing solo. You guys may have seen one of my recent videos being my my live solo double chem strike. And that was indeed on Sovereign, and you can see I was holding spawns, sort of. I did run around map a lot as well because the spawns are being flipped by the randoms and whatnot. but um, you could see I was holding down a little spawn trap from time to time and it's just not hard to hold really not hard to hold spawns which is obviously a good good thing if you're on a pub stomp and whatnot. so 
It's a really good map. Number nine is, in my opinion, Mackin. And this is from World at War. A lot of you guys may not under or know what Mackin is or how it plays out. It's basically a map on the shore with lots of wood. And it's got a couple of towers or it's got a lot of huts and there's like a tower as well in it. That's all I can remember about it, but I do remember for the most part that I had a lot of fun playing that map in the day. I used to be really bad at on the world in the World at War days, but I seriously, seriously had a lot of fun playing the game. And the Mackin was definitely one of my favourite maps of all time. Number eight comes in at Rust. And Rust being you guys may be thinking, why is Rust so low in your top ten? As in like high was it high? I don't know. Why is it so low out of the out of my favourites or whatever? That's just because I didn't play Modern Warfare 2 very much. Um not because I didn't enjoy it, just because I never played it. Um no other reason than that, I guess. Um I just I enjoyed Rust when I did play it, but just the spawns in that got a bit, you know, hectic sometimes and they were pretty terrible from time to time. So that's why it's that's number eight. Number seven is Hazard from Black Ops 1. And that's basically a remake of the cliffside map from um, World at War. It's just a really cool map for sniping. I used to snipe a lot on Black Ops 1. And I used to also really, really like the colouring and the vibrance of the map as well. It used to be, it was based on the golf course map. And the colours were it was really, really green and really, really awesome and bright. I really enjoyed playing that map. Number six is um, Raid from Black Ops 2. That's for obvious reasons. It's a pub stomping map. And it's just a map I really enjoyed playing. It played out really, really well for me. And I just overall had a fun time when playing it. Number five is indeed Dome from Modern Warfare 3. Not much to say about that. It was just a really fun map to play. But it just wasn't my favourite because um, I have other maps that I did enjoy more, I guess. Number four is High Rise. And that map is a beast. And as I said before, I didn't play much Modern Warfare 2. But when I did play Modern Warfare 2, I did play High Rise a fair amount because that did come up in the rotation a lot. I also used to play it in private matches as well, doing trick shotting when I was absolutely horrendous at it as well. But then again, I did have a lot of fun. That's the most, you know, powerful point as to making it your favourite, I guess. Or one of my favourites. Number three is castle from world at war and that's just another sniping map that i used to enjoy and i used to camp a lot on world at war <laughs> faggot but um i just really had a lot of fun playing it let's just put it that way and uh yeah it was just one of my nostalgic favorite maps i guess and the next map and second runner up is nuketown from black ops 1 only black ops 1 i didn't really like black ops 2 very much but i just really enjoyed playing it when it was nuketown 24 7 I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will remember that, but I always used to love playing Nuketown when it was double XP weekend. And number one is Dome from World at War. That is my favourite map of all time because it was actually the first map I'd ever played when I was playing Call of Duty multiplayer. It was just an awesome map and I really did enjoy it. Guys, let me know what your favourite maps are in the comment section down below. Maybe a top three or whatever. But anyways guys, I've got to go and I'll see you very soon.